Hello friends, uh, welcome back once again. So in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can run any ABAP program in the background and how you can check the debugger in the background. Okay, so I have this is the main problem. And some of you guys like saying that please show, show the procedure of to run the program in the ABAP program in the background. So I this video will show you the same procedure. Okay, so let's get started for this. So first I will run the program in the foreground so that you will get the idea. Uh, you can you can compare the result as in the background and the foreground too. So see the, there is the one small uh, program I have written. Uh, okay, so there is a custom program. So okay, there is lots of code has written in the program. Okay, so this is just demo program. Okay, just I'm just running this program in the foreground first. Okay, uh, I select the any one variant. And just uh, I know that you know how to how uh, to define a variant and all. Okay. So first I'm running the program in the bank uh, in the foreground. Uh, so you know uh, you can. You can press in the effort and you can press the execute button on the screen. You can run the program in a foreground. So, uh, so I'm just running the program in a foreground first. Okay. See in the foreground now you can see you can see the particular uh, you can check the particular detail is I have just written a simple program where it's showing the very Showing the balance, using balance is not uh, matching. Okay, so I will run the same program in a background now. Okay, just uh, click on the program at the top and just click on the execute in the background button. Okay. After that, one will join the power. Uh, after that, the uh, open window will happen. Uh, so you have to select your uh, output device. And select the output device and just click on the after that, uh, you get a pop-up message. You press it, continue. Then you have to select the task over there where you have to use immediate date time after job. So I will choose the immediate. Don't uh, don't click on a periodic job. Just click on the save. Okay. And at the bottom, you will find the option called background job or schedule for the program. In this program. Okay. So now I have to check the status of the background. I have already. I have I have run this program successfully, so I have to check the status of the program. So, uh, what you have to do is you have to go to the transaction as 37 10 37. Okay, that's it. Put your username over here, select the name of the program. The job should start. I click on execute. Once you click on execute, you will get one log of your program. Okay, it will be it will show you the status successfully finished. It will successfully finish it. Okay. So you get the time and started as well. So there you have to click on this full list, you have to first full list, uh, and you will get the detergent here. This full number of your background processing. Then you click on this style, and you see here you will get the same record. Okay. So here also showing the pieces. This, this is the way to we can run the program in the background. So okay, now I will show you how you can debug the program in the background. So in a program, as you know, that you can directly add a break or you can uh, you can open the program in a display board and you can directly set the break point and you can run the program. Okay. After pressing the effort, you can check the uh, processing of program in a debugger. But in a background, you, what you have to do is after the running of the job. Uh, okay. So for the background, you also have to do the same thing. Go uh, to the SN37. I'm already, but again, I'm doing it. SM36. Okay, we get the log of your last program. So just select the last, and in the comment, in the transaction section, section, report section, you have to type JDBG. Press enter. If you press enter, it will go to the debugger, so the background processing. Okay. Let me check is okay. Restore. Okay, see. Now what you have to do, you have to go to, you have to go your to your main drone. Okay, I am pressing the F7 from this screen. Again, I'm this is not wrong. Again, I'm pressing the F7. Yeah, this is my problem. Okay, so in the comment breakpoint here, F7, 7, 7. I'm going inside now the program. In this way, uh, you can go, you can check your program with the debugger. I'm going to this in the so, uh, 
here. So in this way, we can check the program in a D. We can run the program in a background, and we can also debug the program in background. So, hi friend, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, then please write me in the comment section below. If you like this video, then please press the like button below. And please subscribe to my channel to get notified about my next video. Bye. Signing out.